Employment agreements often contain non-compete clauses that restrict an employee's ability to compete with the employer after the employment relationship ends. In Hopper v. All Pet Animal Clinic, the court considered whether to enforce a non-compete agreement between veterinarians whose relationship had gone to the dogs. Dr. Glenna Hopper began working part-time at the All Pet Animal Clinic in Laramie, Wyoming in 1988 after she graduated from veterinary school. All Pet specialized in small animal medicine and treated primarily dogs, cats, and small exotic pets. In February 1989, Hopper accepted a full-time position with All Pet. Hopper's employment contract included a non-compete agreement, under which either party could terminate the employment contract on 30 days' notice. Upon termination, Hopper couldn't practice small animal medicine within a five-mile radius of the Laramie city limits for a three-year period. The employment contract was updated in 1990 when Hopper began performing veterinary services for Alpine Animal Hospital, which had been acquired by Allpet. The non-compete agreement stayed the same. In June 1991, Allpet's president heard a rumor that Hopper wanted to buy another veterinary practice in Laramie. He reminded Hopper of her non-compete agreement, but said he'd release her from the agreement for a $40,000 buyout. Hopper responded that her employment contract was worthless and she could do whatever she wanted. So, All Pet fired her, effective July 18, 1991. Hopper then purchased another clinic and began operating it on July 15, 1991. This violated her non-compete agreement as the clinic was within the Laramie city limits and treated both large and small animals. All Pet and Alpine sued Hopper, seeking an injunction and damages for breach of the non-compete agreement. The court enjoined Hopper from practicing in violation of the agreement for three years from her termination date but it didn't award Allpet and Alpine any other damages. All parties appealed to the Wyoming Supreme Court.